Hi and welcome to another episode of how to do stuff with Xperido. In this one I would like to take you for a walk through the Xperido add-in for Microsoft Word. This add-in is used to design Xperido templates. It is built into Microsoft Word and that means that you can make use of all the nice features of Microsoft Word and you get quite a few features on top. The Xperido template design add-in works with the 2007, the 2010 and the 2013 versions of Microsoft Word and you only need to install it if you want to design template. So you don't need it to generate documents or you don't need it to open generated documents. You only need it if you want to design templates. When the add-in is installed, an Xperido instance is added to the Word ribbon. If you click that, you can see that it has three buttons. There's a connection button, a properties button and an about button. I think the most important one here is the connection button, which allows you to connect to one or more Xperido servers. In the connect screen you get an overview of the different server connections, you can use the drop down here to see them, and per server connection you see the different projects. Each of those projects contains some base information, some data sets and some templates. But let's have a look at the server connections first. You can manage them by using the pencil icon right here. And that opens up a dialog where you can configure your server connections. You'll receive your configuration details from your partner or from Inventso as you start up. If you take a look at the datasets, those can be CRM links or database links or XSDs. These are all CRM links because this is a project that is linked to a Microsoft Dynamics CRM environment. So those are your data sets and if you go down here you see the templates, those are the templates inside this project. You can select one of your templates that you did earlier and start editing it right here. Or you can select the data set and create a new template on this data set. If you want to do that you can start from scratch or you can create a new template from an existing one. Select the document on your local computer to start from or start your template from the document that is currently opened. We'll do that give it a name and hit create. As I told you this environment is linked to a Microsoft Dynamics CRM server so I get the question whether or not I want to show my template in my Microsoft Dynamics CRM environment. So let's say OK to that. And then we can start editing our template. Now as you can see on the right hand side of the screen the Xperido pane has opened. And that Xperido pane has the data set that this template is connected to. And it also has a mapping tab and a styles tab which are at this point empty. If I go back to the ribbon and hit Xperido again you can see that the Xperido ribbon has fully unfolded by now. And on top of the connection options that you saw earlier. There are now view functions, insert functions, repository functions, data source functions and an overview of template properties. But we can start off by mapping data in our template right now. I'll activate the data source tab here again and then it's a matter of double clicking fields to map them into the cursor position. If I want to start my document with a quote ID for instance what I can do is just scroll down to the quote ID field and double click it to map it in cursor position. Let's also map the valid from and to dates. And there you are. Now if you go to the mapping tab, you can see an overview of the fields that are mapped inside your template quote number, the effective from and the effective to date. If I double click one of these mappings, the mapping settings dialog opens up where you can apply specific field formatting to your mapped item. I'm going to indicate that this is a date, set the color to English, and choose my desired date format. Now I can click OK, but I can also save this style as a date style. Go OK. And my arrival.
right clicking here the effective from mapping I can assign the style that I just created to the other mapping and as you can see in the styles tab I have my first style here which I can now assign up front to all the date fields in my data set so that would be for instance Dubai I'm using the control key now effective from effective to and so on and so forth say so, okay and they get added down here so if I map one of these fields they will automatically be formatted in the right way so let's look at a preview using the preview button here I can have a preview in Word, in PDF, in XPS, ODT or RTF let's take PDF for instance then dialog pops up that asks me where I want to save changes and here we have the preview with the quote ID, the valid from date and the valid to date formatted in the date style. So let's fast forward and add some more items to this quote. personalized quote that loops over your quote products, calculates the total amount and inserts the quote owner's signature in the right place. We'll zoom into the details of how to do all that in other episodes of the How to Do Stuff with Experito video series. For now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon again.